Hello here at Cisco Kits. We would like to welcome you to today's CCNA study topic where we'll be covering a TFTP server setup. Now you may be saying, TFTP server, what do I need it for? Where is it? Where do I get it? What is it used for? Well, a TFTP server is what's used by you to upload or upgrade the iOS on your Cisco router. It can also be used to upload a configuration file and it can also be used to back up your iOS files and configuration files. So now that we have a little bit of an idea of what the function of the TFTP server is, maybe saying, hey, well, where do I get one? Well, here at Cisco Kits, we've developed our own TFTP server, and we're giving it away to you for free so you can practice these valuable CCNA administrative skills. The download location is at www.ciscokits.com forward slash cisco dash ccna dash tftp dash server forward slash and if you go to that link you'll be able to download the tftp server for free so now I'm going to bounce on over to that page this way you get an idea of what it looks like and here's our tftp server page you can download this for free as I said and if you scroll down here you'll see the actual download link so you click right here to download the CCNA TFTP server now some of the nice features of this server it's going to work on all of your Microsoft operating systems but it's multi -thread thread it which it will enable you to concurrently upload and download images from multiple network devices this powerful TFTP server feature saves valuable time when managing a complex network with many devices it can run as a service so you don't have to worry about if something happens to the computer it reboots or what have you when it lo when it boots back up the service is going to start the TFTP server will be running so if you have automated jobs such as backing up your configuration files every night that can still happen they'll be backed up to a TFTP server and we can transfer files larger than 32 megabytes now I've already downloaded the file so what we're going to do is just bring you through the different screens of the setup so if you download the TFTP server, we don't have it signed by Microsoft, so you'll get that normal prompt that you know this is has not been digitally signed by Microsoft, so you have to trust the author. And if you want to trust us, that's great. If not, you know there, there's other products out there you could look at. And as you see, the install shield comes up. The installer prompts you. and finally we get to the install shield wizard now just prompt next to install it you agree to the licensing agreement here that you are not going to you know give our software away or sell it or anything along those lines next you could change the directory that you want to install it to we default to the uh, your C drive Cisco kits TFTP server directory you'll do a complete install and finally click install so it'll install the Cisco kits TFTP server this takes but eh, about 30 seconds and as it finishes up here we will get our final screen which asks us if we want to check off the box to launch the console right now so we'll check that we'll click finish in a few seconds here we're going to see the TFTP server console and we'll explain some of the features on the console okay that threw it over a little off to the side so let's center that um, you'll, you'll see here that the TFTP service status right now is stopped so we're going to go up to click on server start pending now it's running it'll provide you feedback that it started 
whenever there is an upload or a download it will provide you feedback in this console window. Now it's saying that this TFTP server is 192.168.1.99 the local port it's running on is 69 and the server storage folder is c colon backslash cisco kits tftp server server storage so if you're going to upgrade the ios on one of your routers you have to have the bin file or the ios file on your local tftp server so where do you put it you put it in the, st the server storage directory likewise when you do a backup of a configuration file to the TFTP server, this will be placed in the C colon backslash Cisco kits TFTP backslash server storage folder. So that concludes our overview of the Cisco kits TFTP server. We hope you found this video to be of use and that it helps you prepare for your Cisco CCNA certification. We are sure you will quickly find that real-world, hands-on experience is the best way to cement the CCNA concepts and help you pass your CCNA exam. For more information on how you can obtain affordable CCNA or CCMP study kits, as well as to find more of these valuable CCNA study topics, please visit us at www.ciscokits.com. The study topics can be found under the CCNA menu, CCNA study topics.